Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, and welcome to another one of my Hearthstone videos. Doing a bit of ranked gaming here, just adding in some of my uh, absolute first ranked gaming of the month on the European Hearthstone server. So decided to do it um, like high speed mode to keep things a bit short here during my four days of crazy pants. And yeah, I'm playing the old school hunter deck here, so it's pretty face hunter style. Uh, going in here, complete damage from the start, really happy to see my opponent pop down the knife juggler there because that is like the ideal clash for me. And I mean things couldn't really have gotten much better for me start wise here, I mean I get to pop down a secret, I pretty much get as much value out of everything as I uh, can possibly want <laughs> and then my opponent decides to go Leroy, leaving me with some crazy board presence here. So yeah, I do like that. I have to say that was uh, that was probably like the best case scenario for me that was played out here. Obviously looking at the explosive here, but uh, deciding to go with it anyway, just in case. And um, yeah, I mean with, uh, with the cards I have in hand, I'm like, okay, this is just gonna be easy. But um, yeah, so that was a very lucky and uh, <laughs> very needed uh, start of the month here. So setting it up here is a game against a mage and um, I don't know, I mean mages are a bit tougher because they can ping a lot of those starting minions but luckily I get the coin, meaning that I can, I can go either secret or sticky minion and I decide to go with secret just to do that, um, that cycling of the deck really. Um, so I think that was pretty cool because I didn't see something really crazy pants and then I can go sticky afterwards and uh, have a very nice turn 3 option here where I can go shoot and Lepanon just to get maximum damage down on the table. See a poly on that. Uh, I'm starting to be like, what? What's going on? Is this one of those I'm gonna kill you in the end with the giant kind of decks? But then I see the Flame Waker and I'm like, okay. It's just a, uh, it's just normal deck pants. Um, and yeah, cleared it out. I had like the crazy cool start in this game here and I don't really think that the mage has that much uh, to do really, uh, to like walk away from this situation. Got that dude down and was like, okay, do you have another poly or don't you? Flame Strike, super, super cool way to like turn the game around. But I mean, I'm playing against the mage, you get low effect down like this, it's like, what do you want? What do you want? Three victories, always nice. Grabbing another ranked win here, hopefully. Um, definitely gonna be a game. Paladin game, yeah, you know, this is not the stuff you want, I mean, the Iron Beak Owl is kind of cool, you can silence out the 2-2, two -two, uh, if that's what you're going to be seeing, just pop something down for clashing option, looks like the classic secret deck, and I'm like, okay, let's silence it out, was expecting to see the defender, didn't get it, so it's like, okay, now I need to be a bit careful, I don't want to pop that dude back to the hand, um, Expecting an Avenge to be on the, on the secret side there really, so just really going for the face instead of uh, managing the minions. Assuming I'm going to be facing uh, something like a Consecration, but the opponent decides to go minion heavy instead and that's, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, really well played. Um, I'm in a really bad situation here, but I'm like, okay, let's just try, let's just try really to uh, see if I can like force my opponent to go for minions instead of face, uh, buy me enough time to win the game. And that uh, that works out pretty nicely for me. And I'm like, okay, can I get Unleash here? And I don't. I see massive secrets, complete board control. There is no way for me to turn that battle around. So yeah, it does end up being a losing game and uh, yeah, we all have those. Uh, it's, n it's no shame losing to a better player, better deck, more luck. I don't care what you want to call it, I lost, and uh, that's okay. Playing against a priest this time, and the one cool thing is that I have Hunter's Mark, because I'm really fearing that I'm going to be seeing one of those, hey, by the way, I'm going to put down Dragon's counter kind of decks, huge buff ups in taunt options, and I'm like, nothing to do, my weapon gets wasted right away, I'm like, ah, I have a secret down, I don't want to allow my opponent to get the weapon killer down again, plays directly into Freezing Trap, after using Valen, so it's like, how lucky could I possibly be in this game? Now I get to use it, get rid of a nasty minion, another secret down. The game's pretty much won at this point here because I really managed 
uh, I, rather my opponent by doing the valent thing was like okay dude uh, you lost now you're so low on health i have such a board control plus your minions getting back to your hand there is nothing you can do here so uh, yeah that was pretty much the <laughs> the end point of that and uh, i do think the valent cost there and of course the lack of taunting minions was uh was pretty much what gave me the victory. So another mage battle here, hoping not to see Lebanon. I do see it. It's all like it's always like if I play it, it's a good thing if my opponent shoots it because then they don't play anything. But at the same time, I am now at a card disadvantage. I started having less cards in hand. I lost my minion, but my opponent doesn't do anything. So I'm like, yes, please keep playing like that, <laughs> and then I'm gonna have a chance. And then that comes down. Alrighty, what to do, right? Um, so I just decide to get rid of the minion, keep the board control, my opponent has to shoot or pop down a threat and without really knowing what I have in hand it could really be good for me. Uh, so again, lower up against the mage, it's like, yeah, I like that. Big minions down, clear the board, super damage, pretty much a lockdown at this point even though my opponent has a like, pretty nasty uh, hand there. Um, but I mean, it's gonna take some some luck to uh, to win the game for my opponent there. Ooh, I have crazy cool uh, strange background noise here. I'm sorry about that, guys. But um, yeah, I have to admit that when I'm <laughs> when I'm recording like I am right here in um, in the these like crazy four days of uh, pants, it's uh, it's a bit snaky. I I can't really work around it. So healing down for my opponent. Really, really bad to see this Molten Giant uh, getting this much additional healing, but look at what I have at hand, man. I had 10 damage there, so even though my opponent managed to get Duplicate down, Giant just waiting to do the you don't have any health left kind of thing, I end up winning. That was crazy lucky and very, very cool pack of cards, and yeah, that's pretty much uh, how my month started in uh, in Hearthstone, so um, I guess um, I like that. As always, guys. Thank you very much for watching and yeah, sorry about the background noise. Thank you guys very much for watching.